How's it going, party people? Today we're unboxing the latest set for Card Fight Vanguard, which is Destined Showdown. So Destined Showdown comes with all new Divine Skill units, including Levidris. And on the back, you can see we got our other Divine Skill units. But before we jump into the unboxing, I quickly want to say a shout out to our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. If you ever heard of 50 Cards, it's an online store where you can pick up playset bundles, singles, deck boxes, sleeves, everything you need for Card Fight Vanguard. You can find it at 50 Cards and you can get 5% off with code Nexus. The other thing I wanted to mention is that we are going to be doing a giveaway. So I have a second box here for giveaway. We're going to be opening up the box on the channel. So if you're interested in winning a box of Destin Showdown, be sure to check out the link in the description below. And again, it's a huge help when you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. And the more and more you guys are here and participating, the more we can do giveaways like this. So be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and you can also earn your chance to win a box of Destin Showdown. So link is in the description below with all the details of how to enter. And with that, we're just gonna go ahead and open up this box of Destin Showdown. Okay, we got our booster box for Destined Showdown DZBT04. We got Levidris on our cover card. We got Equilabra, Imperialdo, uh, Alden, and I forget her name, it's like Fam something. But these are the contents of our box. We're gonna be getting 16, it's kinda, kinda covered there, but we're gonna be opening up 16 booster packs and these are all the different rarities we can potentially open. So really hoping for a secret rare or DSR, that'd be really cool. But there's also the SCR, which is the special energy rares, which were first introduced in festival boosters. So it's a lot of good goodies to potentially get in this set. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop this open and see what we get. Right off the bat, um, looks like no, no box toppers. Bush Road, dude, bo let's get some box toppers going. This is the perfect opportunity to give us some reprints. Give us, give us the same box toppers from DZBT01 again, please. We, I really don't want to be spending $30 on Sergion, a card that almost every Keter Sanctuary deck needs. So more box toppers. We're going to give these a quick shuffle. And uh, let's just go ahead and start opening up some booster packs. So for those interested, for me personally, I am really looking forward to the Alden support and also the Alki Libra support it's for Keter and Dragon Empire. So definitely looking forward to that. Energy marker, Senka, the uh, Impal Impalido, Impalidio uh, user from the Enemu, a rare and double R. So this is Babs Arga support using energy costs to call it from the drop zone. And then when it's placed uh, from hand, you can look at the top five for an overdress or dress boost card or an arms card, uh, and then you can discard it. So you can pull it from the drop zone, which is pretty cool. So it's also deck thinning, so not bad. On to the next pack. Um, I'm the, one of the main reasons I'm also really looking forward to the Alden support is because of the fact that everything is so new. But the one thing I'm not looking forward to it is obviously the fact that it's still using the teeth wall. Sergon package, but what can you do? And, oh, speaking of the dude, there's Alden. So this is the new Destin 1 card, Destin 1 of Protection Alden. Uh, it has this really cool ability where when a card will be called by this unit's ability onto a rear with an occupied unit, uh, you can return the occupied unit to your hand instead of putting it into the drop. So it's like you're not minusing by, over, by extending, which is cool. It's only too bad that it's by this card's effect and not just any of your card effects because that would be sick. But what it does is when it attacks, kind of blast, draw, all the Aldens draw, choose a card from your hand, call it to rear, and until the end of your opponent's next turn, it cannot be retired by your opponent's card effects and it gets 10k. So that's the, the protection in the name, Pro Ald uh, Protection Alden. Divine skill. So once per game, Soul Blast 1, look at the top seven cards of your deck, choose up to two cards from among them and call it to rear. And until the end of your next opponent's next turn, they cannot be retired by your opponent's card effects, and then you shuffle the deck. So obviously there's some uh, gold paladin aesthetic to this deck as well, so another reason why I'm looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, this deck looks like a lot of fun. So I know it's not like tier one, but it's tier one in my heart. <laughs> so we're gonna go on to the next booster pack. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, and then they also brought back some Barrel Magni support with a new ride line, except for the grade zero. They didn't 
they didn't want to print a new grade zero. So we got ride line for Levidris here, a double or single rare, and there was a double R, I predicted it. Uh, Barrow Magni support. What does this even do? When this is placed on rear from hand, choose a grade three Barrow in its name from your ride deck, reveal it. If you reveal the card and you have a grade three or a greater Vanguard Barrow Magnes in its name, or, or you have a grade three Vanguard Barrow Magnes in its name, you choose a card from your drop zone, put in your soul. If you have a grade three Vanguard Barrow in its name, gets 5K. All right, so drop to soul, pretty simple. When this is put into soul from rear by your grade three with Barrow, you draw a card. Not bad, very, it seems simple, but a pretty, pretty good uh, support card for Barrow Magnes overall. Going into the next pack, let's see. Common, common, just going through these commons. Uh, Lis, Lis, Liska fail. Is that, is that the one from this set that I'm forgetting her name? Yeah, going into that next pack. I'm honestly really, really bad with the lyrical cards. I apologize to all the lyrical mains out there. I know that you guys are now part of the gang with main boosters now. You're not segregated by extra boosters and your own unique boosters, but like, um, I still struggle with learning all the names of these cards. The only one that I know is um, Charmount and that's it. I don't, and like obviously the, the obvious ones like Prisms and um, other ones that will come to me later, like Willista, but yeah, I'm not I'm not very very well versed in lyrical, but we got another double R. It's a hex orb support when it's placed on rear. If you have a Vanguard with Sorceress in its card name, Counterblast One, search your deck for up to one Grade Three hex orb, put it into your hand. So helping with the Persona ride, and then another double R. This is oh, it's Imperial Dio support when it's attacked. Soul Blast One. This gets five K. If you have five or more Auto Mod gauges, this gets fifteen instead of five. If you have four or more auto mod gauges, this gets 15 shield. Wait, that's actually really, really good. Wow, that's a good double R. Yeah, I can see why people would want to play a, a play set of this. So, um, Impal Dio, for those who do not know, uh, is very like aggro. Think like, um, think like G era, if you remember G era um, Grand Gallop, in terms of like powering up your Vanguard, except it powers up your front row. And also it gives your Vanguard power for defensive checks like Gavrail. So it's a very interesting Brantgate deck overall. So I definitely want to um, look into that sometime in the near future. Let's see, oh, there's the uh, the token. So this is the, the system code where you put your auto mod gauges on. So what it is, is you have to only be able to ride Impaldito cards. And then when it's in, you acquire it through the ride deck. And then when it's in the order zone, uh, it has the effect of when a card is put into your damage zone during your opponent's turn, choose a card for your drop, Put it into your auto mod gauge. So basically kind of like stacking it on this card. If you had three or less auto mod gauges, the cards that are damage checked, you choose your Vanguard, you give it 5K. Uh, it has to be other than triggers uh, when you're revealing damage checks. And if you have four more auto mod gauges, you get five. So it's like you're stacking it, right? It gets better as you know you get more auto mod gauges, which is the goal. And then obviously you have card effects that benefit off your auto mod gauges. Only need one, which is cool. And they come in as tokens in the set. And we got a rare. And uh, next, triple R. This is Welstra support. When this card is discarded from your hand during your ride phase, if you have Vanguard with Welstra, you can call this to rear. So basically the turn you're riding from grade two to grade three, you can discard this and then call it. Act, if you have a Vanguard with Welstra in its name, E-Blast 4. Choose a product with grade less than or equal to your opponent's Vanguard's grade from your order zone and operate it. And the cost of that product's original operate ability is reduced by Counterblast 1. So you can be able to proc off um, the damage inducing product order, the, whose name I'm forgetting, uh, via this skill. So you can discard it, call it to rear for free, via you know getting basically a free ride for your ride deck and then activate its activability. So this is a really, really, really good card. All right, next up. Let's see, Dino Support, and Paul Leo, Ride Line. Uh, we also got these really interesting, um, emphasis on interesting, commons for every nation. It has some type of effect that says that you cannot attack with this unit unless you used uh, your divine skill during this fight. And they all have an effect based on their nation. So this one is, it gets 2K for each of your opponent's open rear guard circles. I guess that's okay, but you have to use your divine skill in order to proc it. So 
It, it's a little, it's a little wonky. And then we got a rare and another rare. Next up. Yeah, see, this is this is what I mean by um, they gave us a new ride line, but they still reprinted Uncanny Burning, which I think is really lazy, personally. But Uncanny Burning got a reprint in this set. Uh, Marlene support, uh, Barrow Magni support, Leonorn support, another one of those Divine Skill cards. This one is when it attacks, it gets 2k for each of your opponent's uh, rear guards instead of open rear. But again, you can't attack with it unless you Divine Skill. A double R for Magnolia. At the end of the battle, this attack, if you have a grade three or grade of Vanguard with Mag, E Blast 3, stand this unit, and this unit cannot attack until the end of turn. So you're supposed to swing with this from the back row, stand it, and then use it as a booster. And then we got Alki Libra, the new Destined One, grade three. So it's got two act abilities. The first one is Soul Blast 2. Choose three of your rear guards, and they get 5K. If you choose two or more rear guards with the Overcharge ability, draw and this gets 10k. So then the second skill is divine skill once per game if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater till the end of turn. If your opponent's van uh, opponent's damage is 4 or less, choose one of their vanguards, deal it a damage and increase or decrease the trigger effects for the revealed damage track. Uh, it gets minus 10k. So just increase. I don't know why I said decrease there. But yeah, uh, so it reduces the damage by 10, so basically nullifying basic regular triggers. Um, and dealing a damage to kind of help you push for game. There are support overcharge cards that do multi attack. So, you know, Al Calibra can be a really good, like, finishing push deck. So, definitely looking forward to building that deck. Going on to the next pack. Whoa. Come on. There we go. Um, let's see, going through this stuff. What are the, what are the decks you guys are looking to forward to from this set? Because I feel like there's a lot of really good support. Um, like, this card, for example, we got some Gree support uh, as an SR, which is cool. Um, but there's also all the new Divine Skill support cards and Destin One units, uh, and a lot of like little key support cards for a lot of decks, including the OG Divine Skill Faded One deck. So I feel like this set is a lot of fun, but let me know what you guys are looking forward to in the set, especially since we're gonna be doing that giveaway. So if there's anything in particular and you guys are looking forward to, you might have the chance to pull it if you win the giveaway. So, uh, more energy tokens. We got Sibelt and uh, the lyrical card and a support card for auto mods. So that pack wasn't very fun. We, all, we did go through a lot of really good pulls already, so don't see anything too shiny back there either, but we'll, we'll take it a step at a time. We got our starter. Uh, grade one or starter for Alden. Another grade one, a frame rare, lyrical card, support card for Alki Libra, and support card for Levidris. Frame rare to the side. And then we'll go over all the pulls towards the end of the video. But let's see, starter, starter, grade one, starter, grade three. That's the one of those divine skill things. This is support card for Levidris. And we got our next triple R. If you have a Vanguard grade three or greater with Lis Liskafel, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's that's the that's the girl, the the lyrical uh, cat girl. Uh, this gets 5k when you're a grade three or greater Vanguard with Lis Liskafel. I'm completely saying that wrong. I need you guys to tell me what the right way to say that is. Uh, it attacks if your front row has no rear guards, you no other rear guards. You kind of bust one, stand this unit, and if your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, this gets another 10k. So multi attacking, I believe. Liska fail, correct me if I'm wrong, it's divine skill, gives it like 5k in a crit for the rest of the game and extra drive or something like that. I forgot the condition to meet it, but this seems like obviously you're gonna be missing out on a front row. So just having this in the front to be able to restand an attack seems pretty good. We'll see what the support looks like down the line. But for now, let's go ahead, see if we can get anything else that looks pretty good from this set. Hope it still have hopes. Never know if you can pull it a DSR or Secret rare. We did get a triple R. This is a really, really good card for Leonorn. So Leonorn gets a lot better with this support card. It's a grade two when it's placed on rear. Choose a grade three Leonorn from your ride deck. And you can reveal it. If you reveal the card or you have a grade three Vanguard Leonorn in its name, Cannon Blast one, look at the top seven cards of your deck. Choose one Leonorn from among them, put it in your hand, shuffle the deck, and not put a card, you can draw a card. So it helps you look for Vivace and that way it makes it easier for you to go into the uh, union dress effect a lot 
smoother. Has a continuous effect, rear and guard circle. If your back row is two grade one or less rear guards, this gets boost. And 5K power, 5K shield. The 5K shield is really important because being able to do all those defensive plays, I feel like that might've been something that Union Dress was lacking maybe just a little bit in the defense on certain turns. So that nice little buffer is helpful. And obviously inherently having boost is also really cool. And just the on place, being able to search for something and help keep up the hand. Really, really good support card for um, Leanorn overall. So good for you, Leanorn players. You guys are tier one. Keeping it going, we're almost there. This is the second to last pack. We got a frame rare. So we got a frame rare and an SR of the G Grief Gri card. So not much support for that deck in my personal opinion, but um, it's a definitely an interesting deck to play, but uh, nothing else really going on there. It's just funny that I pulled an SR and a frame rare for that card. And last pack, let's see what we get. Support, Leanorn support, Infinity Eyes marker for the Levedris deck. A rare and uh, another rare, so nothing crazy. All right, so let's just real quickly establish what we've pulled. Get this organized for you guys real quick. All right, so starting off with the double R's, we got our Hexorb support, our Liscafail support, Magnolia support, Babs Argo support, uh, Auto Mod, Impolidio Impal support, and Barrel Magni support. So a lot of older decks getting support here. These are the only cards that support new decks. The rest are all um, like early on, like phase one decks, if you want to call it that. Like all these were from season one of Overdress. So uh, a lot of good support for older decks, which is always nice to have. So I'm just going to move these down. Um, then we got our frame rares. We got a, a gear griff, gear, gear support card, and then a brand gate support card as our frame rares, just like guard effect. This thing, if I'm able to read it with all that red in the text, you're gonna tie this unit and you choose your Vanguard and it gets continuous during the battle that your unit with Andra and its name attacks. Your opponent cannot play blitz orders. And when they would call from hand, they have to call two or more at a time. So that's cool that it's your units with Andra in its name, because I believe the Vanguard has Andra in its name as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, those are our frame rares. So I'm gonna move those to the side. I'm gonna move these guys over here. And then our SR is of course another one of these Volt Dragons. So it, I, I think the base rarity is a double R. I'm not sure. I would assume so, because it's an SR. So got two of those things here. So I'm gonna put that off to the side here, kind of as a double R. For our triple R's, we got our LaGrace. So this is our Leonorn triple R support card. Then we have, what is your name? Abelina. So this is the unit that works with the new Liscafail deck, gets, gives it 10K, can restand, blah, 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 blah. Pretty good card. We got Alkilibra, which is the boss card for the new Divine Skill uh, Dragon Empire deck. Can induce damage for its Divine Skill and it powers up units with the overcharge ability. Then we got a grade one for Welstra. Uh, this helps you activate product orders from your order zone, uh, reducing the cost by kind of blast one for E-Blast four. And then also when you're discarding it to ride into Welstra, you can call it to rear for free. So it's pretty cool. Get a free ride. And last but not least, we have Alden as our last triple R from this box. So Alden is really cool. Obviously it's got that divine skill to fill your uh, board and it lets you uh, keep the cards that you call with Alden's skill by bouncing it back to your hand. Pretty versatile. A lot of the units and the support cards for Alden get a lot of power. So these numbers get pretty big really quick, um, but overall Alden just kind of seems very middle ground, very mid rangey. So that is it for this unboxing. We got some pretty, pretty decent cards. Can't complain too much. Uh, definitely gonna, all these cards are very sought off where there aren't any cards that aren't needed for support decks. So I would say this box is pretty decent. Obviously we didn't get a secret rare or DSR or anything like that, but you know, who does have a chance to potentially get that? You do, because we're still giving away a box of Destined Showdown. You see, you see how I how I segued into that? That was pretty good, right? So thank you guys for watching the unboxing. And again, be sure to check the link in the description below to enter for your chance to win a box of Destined Showdown. So I really want to quickly say thank you to everyone who's been supporting us thus far. 
Definitely would not be able to do things like this if it weren't for you guys. And especially big shout out to 50 Cards for being able to support the channel and give us the opportunity to do these really cool unboxings as well. 50 Cards plays a huge part in our ability to be able to do giveaways. So definitely shout them out. Be sure to check out 50 Cards to pick up anything you need for Vanguard in general. And you can use code Nexus to get 5% off. That is it. Thank you guys for watching the unboxing. And uh hopefully see you guys with some gameplay and deck profiles pretty soon so that is it see y'all later bye